ModerateCataractCoach.com. Teach me the tilt and chop technique. For moderate cataracts, this is a very safe and very efficient procedure. You'll really love it. It's a complete cataract case. I'm going to show you the whole case start to finish. First of all, starting off with the pairs and pieces, let's check out the draping. All right, good thing. Cataract coach did a reasonable job with the draping. Here comes some anesthetic. There's a little bit of preserve-free lidocaine along with some phenylephrine going inside the anterior chamber. That's going to help a lot. Patient just has topical anesthesia, no block of any kind. Here's our fill with our... Dispersive viscal acid, getting a good coating there of the endothelium. And now, time for the main incision. Here comes the keratome. So, diamond keratome for me, because I'm fancy like that. And now, creating that incision, single plane. And you can see, creating it nice and easy, getting that dimension that I want. This diamond's 2 millimeters, so I slightly enjoy it to maybe 2.3 millimeters. A little bit of nicking of the limbal vessels. I love it, because that means great long-term sealing of the incision. If it's completely avascular... You know it's not going to seal as well, right? A completely avascular incision I can open up five years later. Now, using our forceps here that are marked off at two and a half and five millimeters. Now, the key here, if you want to do tilt and chop, you can't have a baby rexus. You heard cataract code say it many times, no baby rexus. So here I'm creating a nice round five to five and a half millimeter rexus. Let's measure here at the end. Let's see how I did. Uh, I didn't measure it. Okay, I'm just going on skill. That looks about five, five point two five. Maybe we'll find out at the end, right? Now, here you go, slow and steady hydrodissection, not forceful, very slow. There's the nucleus prolapsing out of the bag. Notice the hydrodissection is to the side of the nucleus. Don't go right down the middle because then you'll block the nucleus from coming out of the bag. Now, the nucleus is not flipped over or upside down. It's just simply tilted partially out of the bag. Now, buzzing over the FACO probe here, high vacuum settings. Chopper goes around it. Look at that. Nucleus is trapped. Boom, chopped in half. You got two halves. And the nice part is you're not in proximity to the capsular bag. You're protecting the bag. Now, it's not a very dense cataract, I know. It's Beverly Hills, although we have brunescent and white cataracts too. And now, emulsifying the cataract very easily. I've got a high flow setting here, about 40 to 45 cc's a minute of fluid flow. High vacuum, 500 millimeters of mercury, and doing a little bit of fake and power modulations. And look at that. Nice and controlled removal. Look at the chopper in the safe position just to protect the bag. Now, did I tell you about our podcast? The number one podcast in all of ophthalmology for a reason. It teaches you how to be a more successful ophthalmologist. I promise you will love it. It's everywhere you find podcasts. Don't make me keep saying this. Check it out. Now, cortex removal. I'm using a coaxial cortex setup here. Nice and easy. I've already called for the IOL, and the technician's loading that up. In this case, I think we're going to use a single piece of acrylic preloaded lens to make life even easier. And once I clean up this capsule bag here, that looks pretty good. Nice and easy. Want to be gentle. As we grab the cortex, remember, always look at the rex margin. Make sure it's not moving. Now, there we go. Cleaning up. All the cortex is pretty good. Let's polish the bag up a little bit, too. So we can put our cohesive viscoelastic inside the eye here. And nice and easy. Get a good fill of the capsule bag. There you go. Nicely done. And let's get that capsule polisher out. Now, does it make a difference to pause the capsule? I don't really know. And studies have gone one way or the other, but it makes me happy. So I'm just going to do it. It looks pretty. So we've cleaned up and paused the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim. Now let's get our lens going in here. But I think you'll like the tilt and chop technique. If you have patients like this who are, let's say, 2 to 3 plus NS, and you are able to create a consistently 5, 5.5 millimeter rexus, well, then, this is a great technique. And again, it's very safe to the capsule bag, safe to the coronal theme. I promise you this patient has a clear cornea the next day. Here comes our preloaded lens, getting that delivered right in the eye. And that's a, it has a nice trigger on this delivery system. That way, I can use the chopper to fixate the eye with the side port. And now there's the lens in the capsule bag. Let's dial it in. Let's see that rexus size, right? Let's see what we got here. We all know that optic is six millimeters in diameter. And let's see, do we have complete overlap? With the rexes, indeed we do. Looking good. Get out the visco elastic. Make sure you go behind the eye well, too. Get all that washed out here. And cleaning that up pretty nicely here. Oh, look at the tip of the fake of the IA probe. I'm not quite adjusted the way I like it on that tip, on that sleeve. I'll have to have my scrub tech technician help me out and do that a little bit better next time. But look at that. All cleaned up. Very nicely done. And look at the rexes size. Yeah, that's just about five and a quarter millimeters. This is maybe between five and a quarter and five and a half in diameter. Look at that overlap in the optic, 360. It looks great. Let's seal up the incision here at the end. Notice how I hydrate the roof of the incision. Don't hydrate the side walls. Come on. That's for like junior residents who are still learning how to spell ophthalmology. 
You want to hydrate the roof of the incision nice and gently here. A little preservative-free triumphs in, though not much, 0.5 milligrams, just enough to kind of quiet down the eye. It's almost all gone by post about more day one and the next morning. Now, a little bit of uh, antibiotic going inside the eye, too. So that's preservative-free moxifloxacin, just to be sure. And now let's check the incisions. Yo, hey, cataract coach, can you center up the camera? Oh, there you go. You read my mind. All righty. Everything looks good. Let's check the incision nice and watertight, and we are done. So, hey, check it out. Try it yourself. Tilt and chop technique. I promise you're going to love it. Remember, that podcast, too, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology, everywhere where you find podcast services. It's just an hour a week.